In previous films, I've reviewed a few of Viviva's products and they have sent me a couple more. So yes, I haven't paid for these, these have been sent to me, but the views I have here are absolutely honest and my own. I've not been paid to make this. I reviewed the colour sheets, which are the thing that Viviva are known for particularly, and then I've reviewed this little travel kit. So this time they have sent me two things. They have sent me a little watercolour set with metallic colours, 15 metallic colours, and a colouring book. Now, I have to say, when I opened this, I got not quite an anxiety attack, but I was like, oh my goodness. Because as a child, I hated colouring books. I hated being told what to draw, what to paint. I hated being told to stay within the lines and all that came flooding back. So I'm going to leave that to look at last to see if I can overcome my anxiety. And I'm going to look at these because these look really exciting. If you don't know Viviva, it's a lovely company that well in fact i think there's stories on the back colors was born out of the need to make painting more fun and convenient we're founded by two brothers aditya and rohan from a med school dorm products are handmade by local artisans in india and we're proud to have a loving user community in over 60 countries their products are long lasting and durable they are vegan and they are ultra portable. Just to get the money bit out of the way, this set of 15 metallic colours in the UK is £16 and in the US is $20. Let's see if we think it's worth it. I love their packaging and I think you will too if you look at this. It comes all together. There's a little swatch card. Ooh, I've actually got two. Nice. Put those to one side. And then this is the little palette protective sheet i don't think i'll probably need that and what's unique about viviva's palettes are they are made out of cork no plastic metal ceramic they are made out of cork and i believe they're actually made out of recycled wine corks so they are fully biodegradable compostable I'm wondering whether you could actually refill it oh, i'm so naughty i always end up taking things to pieces to see how they're made oh ooh, no all damaging them that's not going to come out they're obviously stuck in well but i wonder if when they are finished you could refill that if you haven't ruined the the palette Stick it all together no one will ever know the other good thing is they have just as with the color sheets they've got a little mixing tray the thing to do of course is to swatch stuff out i've used metallic watercolors before and I know that they will look different on a black surface than they will on a white one. But I think we should swatch them on both. You can compare. The other thing I learned when I last used metallic watercolours is that they don't tend to release their colour very quickly. So I would recommend spraying with clean water before you start so that that can soak in and make our life a little bit easier. That's had a few minutes to, to just soak in. So I'm grabbing a bit of kitchen towel. I've got a brush. Let's see what these colors are like. So this is metallic light green. We won't be able to make a proper judgment until it dries, but let's just put out a few little swatches. They don't look particularly shiny in the palette. They've got a, a luster rather than a shimmer, I would say. But again, until I've actually swatched them out, I, I don't know whether that impression is true or not. Oh, this one that I rather destroyed, orange sapphire, is really rather nice. Pink pearl. Oh, that's beautiful. How do you reckon you say this? You, you delight? 
and then amethyst is very pretty i'm being immediately struck i thought they were going to look loads better on the black watercolor paper sorry i should have said this is etival clairefontaine black watercolor paper just so you know and actually at the moment i'm preferring them on the white paper and i'm pretty sure i'll put links to the metallics last time i used metallics they were cheap as chips metallics i found them in a shop for a pound and i thought i've got to try those see see what they're like i'll put a link to those because the paintings i did with those you know if you're looking for something to paint maybe you'd like to have a go with these if you get them i like that green sapphire i didn't think i would but that is really nice the rust is a real copper i think that's what i would have called it rather than rust really nice copper actually the brown quartz hmm, interesting i would have called this pewter rather than metallic gray i reckon and then we've got a silver isn't going to show up on the white very much at all that gold is pretty gold actually and then final one are pearl black which obviously isn't going to show up terribly well on our black watercolor paper i'm going to let those dry because then we can make a proper judgment of those colors and just while they're drying let me show you this clever little mixing palette they have hey i wanted to mix that lovely aquamarine and pink for whatever reason and i mix and i paint whatever i want to paint look just wipes away easy peasy which i think is super clever it's obviously palm size so if you were painting on the move you can just hold it i am a mucky painter look at those hands you can see that but i guess if you were a little bit more careful then you wouldn't get covered in it so i'm going to move those around just to make sure you catch the sparkle and you can judge how sparkly they are so what surprises me is that they are standing up really well on the white paper I mean, the contrast on the on the black is always fun because by their nature they are very opaque but i would say that i think the colors look better on the white than they do on the black is a surprise but isn't that good that's the whole point of swatching out and experimenting in case you manage to, to find something different and i think the reason why this looks so different is these are actually way better quality than those cheapest chips ones the others were really opaque and almost gluey when I started to use them. So they covered the black really well. Whereas these are more transparent, these are finer, they certainly don't have that gluey feel. So that actually the white of the paper is helping the colour shine through. And I think that's the difference. If you look particularly, say, at that metallic light green, and even the pearl pink they're struggling against the black a bit good well i've learned something i am going to keep that little bit of um, protective paper because again i've found before that these take quite a while to dry out i think that's a lot of fun and i can imagine having that in a, a travel set somewhere so that if I, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle when I'm out and about, even doing a bit of urban sketching, you know, bringing a bit of sparkle to a drab urban scene, that would be wonderful. OK, time for me to be brave and overcome my, my anxiety about colouring books. I know that adult colouring books are a thing. And if you love them, that's brilliant. But maybe it'll be good for me it will make me a calmer person let's look at this so this is a cityscape one i think they do a flower coloring book as well we've got some kind of whimsical houses i'm not sure how that's a cityscape does that look like a cityscape to you not sure that's a cityscape either 
but I love hot air balloons. Uh, I'd say that was a country country scene with butterflies in a tree. We've got some sort of medieval town going on. That's the one from the cover. Gingerbread houses that seem to be populated by cats. Another sort of... Oh, look at them. They're all teapots. How wonderful. Lovely aerial view. Town. Oh, more hot air balloons. Oh, that's quite sort of fairy tale, isn't it? Like that. Oh, that's different. Do you know, I was just thinking, again, not finding that a cityscape. I keep checking. Yeah, it does say cityscapes. Okay. Not finding that a cityscape. That is townscape there. Yeah, what was striking me is that style is different in quite a few of these. So it doesn't say who the illustrator is, but I would imagine that it's a number of illustrators. Love the dragon that have contributed to this. Oh, isn't that nice as an aerial view? Oh, another hot air balloon. There are 24 sketches and I say I reckon there's at least four different artists in there looking at the work. Paper, it says it's ivory, premium ivory, but it's not very yellow. I wonder if it is the same paper that they use in their little sketchbooks. So again, that is yeah 120 pounds that's 120 pounds premium ivory so i think that it's pretty much the same paper which is good because i would imagine the temptation is to not use very good paper in in uh, coloring books the only coloring books I liked were the magic ones that had obviously got chemicals in and you just put water over and it all changed colour. What I reckon you could do with this as well is use the back sides of these. It's sort of like a, maybe not quite hot press, but pretty much a hot press feel. I found with their sketchbook, I'll just show you, oh, there was no bleed through, so you could absolutely use the backside, unless, of course, you've been a mucky pup and shot it when it was wet. Lines are really bold, so I think it will show through transparent watercolour really nicely. I'm not going to film me painting, but I will come back and show you the result and tell you how it made me feel, and maybe make me feel all relaxed and zen. So last night I put my big girl's knickers on and thought I really need to overcome my my phobia of colouring books and I chose one of the pictures and I have coloured it with watercolours, just ordinary watercolours. If I wiggle that around hopefully you'll see a little bit of shine. So I used some of the metallics that we've just reviewed and then I grabbed just ordinary gel pens to, to put in a bit of detail, uh, which is that sort of quite fluorescent pink that you can just see there. And I have to say, I found just as we suspected that the paper is, is lovely. It took the water really well. There was no pilling up. You could blend it if you wanted to. If I turn it over, look, no bleed through at all. And you could use the back of that if you wanted. So that was all as I expected. What I didn't expect was actually how much I hated it. I still hated it. I've really tried to overcome my fear of colouring books. So if you do like colouring books, I'm sorry. I guess they are just not for me. And I am not in any way, shape or form, criticising people who do like them. They're just not for me. I even did some research. I said... What's so good about adult colouring books? And I came up with an article from WebMD that says it relaxes your brain and improves your brain function, puts you in a meditative state, uh, it, it improves your motor skills, anxiety, and re relieves stress. Well, all of that sounds absolutely wonderful, but it doesn't do that for me. So if you like adult colouring books and and enjoy the process please put 
why in the comments because I'd really like to understand. Again, Viva has come up with some really lovely quality products. I think that little set is beautiful. I love the packaging. It's really cute and I loved how the colours came out, particularly on the white paper. Yep, the colouring book was not for me, is not for me, and I hope they never send me another one. It is really nice quality. They are good designs, there's lots of variety, and the paper is lovely quality. I would have thought this would have been, given looking at the designs, really nice for uh, late teens, maybe people in their, their 20s just trying to get a bit of relief from a stressful job or trying to stay off social media for a while and reduce their blue light exposure. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Viviva sends me next because I think their products are really innovative and ones that you just won't find elsewhere. If you agree and fancy treating yourself there is a 10% off discount code put in Liz10 and that will, will get you 10% off. I'll put that all in the description and I hope you have fun.